She lived to 83. She lived a full life. <laughs> she lived to 83? Yeah. Oh, this is old okay. school. No, we don't care. Yeah. If it's AD, we don't care. Yeah. Well, I guess she I was. I everything's AD. Yeah. Oh, she's the number one? She's Woo number one. Zaytan. Yeah. Coolest female ruler on our list. Empress Wu. Oh, I saw a fucking documentary about her. You did? Yes. She was, uh, get the feet bound. She was, they were all about feet binding back then. Well, she did the things that you expect a dictator to do, that she had a secret police that carried out interrogations and quarter, uh, uh, tortures and killings of potential rivals. She's even responsible for the death of her son, as well as her daughter, who was strangled, believe it or not, by her. So she killed her own <laughs> kids. Um, yeah, that's that, yeah, that should put you up there. Yeah. Sadly, she doesn't get the press that like, yeah. Eileen Warnos gets. That's what I'm saying. Eileen's just famous. Why don't they make movies about this? This is a pretty cool movie. Yeah, like they, you, there's so many movies about evil dictators. They should do because I'm telling you, uh, I, this is what made me think about this. Is I'm watching the um, Truman Capote doc. I started watching it. I can't watch it. Yeah, it's not a doc. It's a movie. It's called Swans or Feud. It's on Hulu. Swans or Feud. No, it's called Feud, but okay. it's called Feud, but it's Swans are all over it. He had five women, four women who were socialites in New York high society in like the 50s, 60s, and he wrote an expose on them. He okay. was best friends with all of them. They all were getting cheated on by their mans. They all had all this drama in their lives. And Truman Capote didn't have any real inspiration anymore. So he decided to do a Vanity Fair article, not using their names, but telling their stories. And it destroyed his relationship with them. It ruined him and it ruined a lot of their lives. And one of them is fucking one of the hottest chicks ever. Really? Oh my God. Uh, her name was Babe Polly. And it was his best, best friend.